Hey everybody, this is Pastor Megan at this old church here at Grace Lutheran in San Francisco. And today I'm gonna to tell you how you can transform your sanctuary flooring, even if you have asbestos tiles in them. And here at least is the process that we did here in this congregation to help make it a safer place for kids to be and for families to be and for us to have worship. Step one, hire someone to do it for you. That's the, the creak of the, of the roof. We like to think it's the Holy Spirit coming in this place and saying, hey, I'm here. Um, but so hire someone to do it. We got um, the fine folk at Empire Flooring to, who, who gave us the best uh, quote on how to be able to put in new flooring. And they also gave us several options on the best way to mitigate the asbestos tile. And you can do anything from tenting the place up and removing the tile to, to sealing it and covering it. You could. Um, bury it in self-leveling cement, or you could do it the way that we did it, which is to um, have plywood level the floor and to then have a, a new flooring put above the newly leveled floor, essentially sealing in the asbestos so that future generations hopefully never dig into it. The risk of doing that is you can't screw things into your floor ever again because you can't screw into the asbestos tile. And so this you have this is a solution for people who are not interested in screwing things down in a permanent way um, and who want to um, abate the asbestos in a way that's as safe as possible. So the thing that we have to do is think as a congregation, how will we communicate the story to future generations that there is a poisonous flooring component sealed underneath our flooring so that when they want to do future renovations, um, it's not dangerous for the community around them. In our project, step one was remove the carpeting. Then after our council for almost a year, studied different ways to mitigate the asbestos and the best way for us to move forward, we selected the contractor that we wanted to work with. And we selected um, leveling the floor with plywood. So here's what it looked like when they leveled the floor. Then after it was leveled, they put on the second level flooring, and here's what that looked like. Then after the floor was level, then we put on the new flooring that we wanted to have. We picked a vinyl laminate that we have had samples of uh, since November and December and uh, we picked a flooring color that matched w the wood trim in the area and it was put in and it took about a day and a half to just do that level of flooring. The full project took about five days and here's what it looks like as they're installing it. Then finally, after the flooring is done, we did a wet mop on it. We dusted everything that was kind of coated in, in construction dust. And we started putting our furniture back in place. All of our furniture has wheels on it because again, we don't wanna, number one, we don't wanna scratch the brand new flooring that we just had put in. And also because we aren't able to screw things into the floor because of the asbestos. So um, soon what we hope to do is get our pews adjusted to our now level floor. This will be the first time in a while we'll have a, a level floor because our church, unlike the gospel verse, is built on sand. And so there's some settling in our building. And so um, when we're able, we will level the pews so that all of the, the wheels make the pew level to the ground. 
And then we put our furniture back up and we started our worship. And here's how it looks. Let me know what you think in the comments below.